Okay, guys. I was about to start working on more on my uh, Dragon Riders, <clears throat> Dragon Knights. So, it's been a kind of busy day. Uh, just got home. Uh, spent part of the day at uh, Game Shop. Actually, was able to start doing. You know, there's there a couple guys there who were playing a, uh, a game of uh, 40k, and they're relatively new. So I was able to kind of help them out, <clears throat> learn the rules, keep them, uh, teach them some of the various things. One of them was playing Tau, one was playing uh, uh, Adept Mechanicus. <clears throat> and so I don't know a whole lot about Mechanicus. I know a little bit. Uh, but I was able to kind of help them, you know, learn the rules. You know, you know, 40k rules are a little hard to get used to. <clears throat> so it was actually kind of fun. I was a pleasant way to spend the evening after uh, a day at work. My, uh, we're actually hosting Thanksgiving tomorrow. Uh, it's Wednesday night as we as we're doing this. <clears throat> but anyway, uh, you know, so that's keeping me busy trying to get the whole house ready. Haven't had as much time to, to paint and do things. Uh, <clears throat> my oldest son came back uh, for the first couple days this week to, to visit. We kind of had a, a pre-Thanksgiving Thanksgiving. And so it was, uh, you know, he had, he had to work on Thanksgiving, so he had to go back. And so today he actually just moved into his apartment. It's kind of neat. <clears throat> anyway, he, uh, it kind of feels weird having Having my oldest already moved out and you know on his own, it's kind of it's kind of neat, you know. It's a dad's hope is always that you know his son's gonna do well when he gets on his own and all. And yep, he is. He's uh, you know, like any young kid, he's he's gonna face his challenges just like we all had to face ours when we were that age. So, <clears throat> but it does kind of feel weird, you know, not having the whole family together. For the holidays, naturally, we actually have to have to make it happen now because they don't live. We don't. <laughs> he doesn't live with us anymore. That's sad. <clears throat> My youngest is turning out to be a good uh, history buff too. Just kind of neat. Uh, enjoys military history. He's uh, able to uh, for one of his history classes. Uh, they actually had a sort of an in-school field trip. Doing it, watching a uh, documentary movie about uh, the American Civil War, and of course he loves that kind of stuff. It's real neat. Uh, it's just neat to, to watch your boys grow up. Uh, you know they don't end up with the same interests and same thinking the way you do. It's always a challenge, you know. But <clears throat> they have to be their own men, so it's kind of neat to. To watch it happen. So. Alright, yeah, that's coming out nice. Yes, yeah, week has been kind of already, you know, because we've been trying to get ready for, um, you know, Thanksgiving, <clears throat> having family over, and then having my son come back for a couple days and. You know, of course, it kind of gets hectic when the holiday season starts getting on, and you never know what's what's around the corner. Uh, of course, we just went through our election stress here in the U.S., so that was an interesting, uh, interesting era. <laughs> so it's during that whole time. You know, the last few months, as things got <clears throat> kind of crazy there, and as kind of started getting ready for the holidays to hit, and taking care of all the obligations and what have you, it's really easy to kind of lose track of, you know, what really matters and all. So, tomorrow is Thanksgiving, like I said before, and... <clears throat> I liked, I really actually, you know, as, as trite as it may sound, 
I do like to take advantage of that day and or actually this whole week and think about you know what's what's really important what I've got to be thankful for because you know when life gets in the way boy it just really sometimes hits you hard and you I guess the best way to put it is you lose perspective so <clears throat> So that's what I'm kind of thinking this will be a, like a Thanksgiving, you know, special, kind of. <laughs> uh, thinking in terms, you know, what am I thankful for kind of thing. Because as we go through all those, the daily craziness that happens, you know, at work and home, you know, all of us have less than perfect lives. I mean, it's just... Never, things don't always go the way you want them to. Sometimes it's nice to just stop and think. Hey, what's how, how do things? Re, what are things really like? You know, this year has <clears throat> been kind of crazy for for us here. We had uh, as of last year this time, we had just at work just went through a round of layoffs and. I was very, it was very stressful, because uh, you never, you didn't know if you were the one who was going to get called out or not, and a couple people in my work group were affected, I didn't work closely with them, but, but still, you know, it was too close to call, it's very close to home, <clears throat> and that kind of, the off stuff happened pretty much all year, it's, I mean, it was, it wasn't, Every day, it wasn't every week, but you know, and that was the thing. You never knew when it was going to happen again. So, all throughout, you know, when I was at work, there'd be days I go into work and find out, you know, that they're calling for another round of layoffs for this and that. And people I knew and people I used to work with um, were affected in some of these too. So, it just makes you feel unsettled. But. I'm still working, so that's a good thing. <clears throat> I'm very grateful for that. God has definitely blessed me with a good job, so I can support my family. Uh, I actually got a doubly blessed this year because uh, when I started the year, I was in a role that I it didn't really fit me. Uh, unfortunately, <clears throat> uh, a couple years ago, I was put into a job that. A role that had a was a, a certain title to it. Now, not not major, not important, but um, so anyway, the the actual work I was expected to do fit pretty well with my skill sets, and uh, it was a good couple years. But as things developed, uh, the project pro program kept going later and later, or no, sorry, uh, developed further and further and went through uh, several iterations. Um, my What I was being asked to do just kind of changed a bit, and by the end of last year, I was not really feeling good about where I was. Um, I really was not enjoying work, and that's never, ever a good thing. Uh, because it wasn't a good fit again, you know. You look at some people that, uh, you know, I, would, I always wanted to have a job that I loved and couldn't wait to do. But uh, I don't have one of those. <clears throat> to be honest, at this point, stage in my life, my, my dream job is more like uh, working at Mini Wargaming. <laughs> I'll be honest, I would love to game and paint for a living. Uh, having done all these other things in my life. But anyway... <laughs> back to what I was talking about before um, so I really wasn't doing uh, the best in that role because it it outgrew me and I don't know if any of you have ever been there um, it feels pretty bad because you used to do real well in your job and now you're struggling to just keep up and stay with it and it's not very fulfilling 
it it wasn't fun. So in the end, <clears throat> um, it was actually kind of I was trying to think through the beginning of the year. What could I possibly do that would be fulfilling? Because I didn't want to be in that job really anymore. But it's also the time we were talking about layoffs, so I was really scared that I didn't want to say anything because I didn't want them to take advantage of that and just put me on the chopping block simply because I wasn't in a good fit. Well, <clears throat> as it turned out, I took a a week off in March to help uh, one of the high school teachers do a uh, mini term. That's a class where uh, just a week long, but they study some a special topic and. This this teacher is a history teacher. He's really really good at what he does, and it was fun because what he did was he taught the kids how to play 40k or one page 40k. It's kind of a simplified rule set. Um, it's not it's it's not like Age of Sigmar. You know, it's not a Sigmarized version. Okay, it's a fan base kind of a, a thing. They actually one page is a company that does. Uh, one-page games in general. There's, they, they take complicated rule sets from different games and they actually make them... Uh, uh, they simplify it down so that the, all the rules are on one sheet of paper, two sides maybe, and all your unit information will be on another sheet. So it's uh, very, very easy to keep. Uh, easy to look up rules, easy to look up stats and what your, your units would have you. So anyway, uh, so anyway, I helped him out with that week. And it was a lot of fun. Went back to work, expecting, you know, not, you know, kind of dreading it a little bit. And I find out <coughs> um, they moved me. <laughs> um, I wasn't in my job anymore. <laughs> uh, at first, you know, I felt really bad. It's it's never, even if you know you're not doing a good job, it's never a good feeling to to kind of be told, you know, that. They're moving you because they're putting somebody better in. Now I'll admit, the the person who replaced me, she's she is she's good at what she does, and it is a better fit. Uh, it's all about matching the right people and the skill set with the job that needs to be done. That's that's really important. Well, it turned out that they move where they moved me to was something I was thinking about. Man, I, I kind of wish I could go back to that. Uh, other job that was like the best of my career and uh, of course I wasn't really wanting to go back to something like that but it that's where I ended up uh, not exactly <clears throat> but it was very very close uh, even in the subject matter and the uh, so I even worked with uh, two of the people who are on the team I had worked with before I, there was a team lead back then and their team lead now and now it's a, a good fit I'm having fun at work you know it's still it's work it's not fun but so, most of this year, since basically since April, I've been actually feeling pretty good about work. And that's that's a good thing. I'm very, very grateful for that. One of those things, you know, God put me there where he wanted me. Okay, that looks pretty good for a first coat. <clears throat> Let's make sure I haven't missed anything. Uh, got that, got that. Yep, got it. Oops. Nope, got that, yeah. Okay, so yep. <clears throat> on to the next one. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so that was, that was, it was good to kind of think back on that. And remember, you know, as hard as things are, it works sometimes. And it's good to realize it was worse. And it's very good now. And thank you, God, for that, you know. <clears throat> and, you know, trying to get ready for uh, holidays, you know, you, there's a lot of stress right there. Make sure the house is all taken care of and you're all set up, everything's done. and That's not relaxing, <laughs> you know. But, you know, the fact is, you know, we're going to have our family here. Um, actually, it's my wife's family, but um, they're all coming out. So it's only going to be about twelve of us or so. But still, you know, it's it's nice to have them out there. And it's 
where Elijah and I have a house where we can have Thanksgiving. It's uh, not everybody has that. So there's another thing that I'm grateful for is actually well having a place to live, having a place to live that I can actually open to family for holidays and what have you. I like that. <clears throat> Backyard is nowhere near what it used to be. I just I've kind of sort of let it go a bit. Um, it's a constant battle to get weeds done. You know, take care of the weeds. I, where I'm at, the uh, it was a uh, forested area next to a prairie, kind of a savanna type of setting, and so it is just so full of weeds. Uh, that's the best thing. You know, they're just their native prairie grasses and flowers and such, and trees, and trying to keep up with those, you know, keeping it trimmed and cleaned out, just it sometimes gets to be too much. And so it, this year it's kind of difficult. But I have a place that's really neat. Now I haven't been able to uh, to do it recently because my target butt is uh, gone. You know, it, it disintegrated after a bit. But um, I've got you know, I, Griff, I actually have an archery range and a rifle range out in my backyard, so I'm able to go out and shoot archery normally, um, which is which to me is very very relaxing. I like doing that. <clears throat> And I don't use, uh, as I call it, bows with training wheels. I use a good old-fashioned self-bow with uh, you know, a lot of they're a lot of more composite. One of my my primary bow is a uh, uh, wood and fiberglass uh, composite recurve, but I don't use I don't bother with sights. It's all instinctive shooting. I'm trying to learn how to actually make my own bow. I think when I retire, I think that's one of the things I'm going to do. <clears throat> so, you know, again, it's, it's another situation where I've got very difficult to keep up on the yard sometimes. And, but, wow, the things that we can do, that, that the wildlife I've gotten back, you know, I've got I've had quail in back. Uh, I don't know if the, cov the covey is still there. I haven't seen it in a couple of years, but of course they're they don't come out often. Uh, I've got this year three buck, uh, white-tailed deer, bucks running through the area because uh, I, I can tell you three different racks uh, and a bunch of doe and fawn. So I've got a lot of deer moving through. That's kind of nice. Uh, plenty of uh, I haven't seen groundhogs for a while. I don't know what because that's but I think the coyotes are up. Quite a bit. There are more coyotes this year, I think. <clears throat> I got plenty of birds like crazy. Owls are making noise every night. It's really beautiful. So you know, again, stopping to smell the roses, kind of thing. I don't have to. I, when we got the house, when we built it, you know, it, it's out. It's out of ways. It's not near the city, which makes it kind of inconvenient at times but it's like going on vacation when I come home um, you know it's settled nestled in some by some trees there's a prairie next to it forest next to it on the other side it's the pl kind of places I it looks like the places I would go for vacation so sometimes I I gotta remind myself that when I start feeling overwhelmed by all the things that don't go right right at the house, you know, gutters need to be cleaned out, for example. And, uh, not getting I'm not very good with ladders, and definitely have to get up on the roof on a, using a ladder, and that's a quite a ways up. I'm not afraid of heights as much as I'm afraid of hitting the ground. So, I just want to make sure that when I go up on the ladder, that's stable, 
I still have one sun around that I can can help spot the you know hold the brace the ladder while I go up. Once I get on the roof, it's no big deal, but just a long climb up. That's the tough part. Still, when I stop to think, you know, we got winter coming soon, and we've had good weather so far. I need to set some time aside to do some, take care of stuff like that. I hate doing that though. It could, you know, it kind of makes it hard to do modeling. I I do admit. I still have a irresponsible streak in me sometimes, <clears throat> and uh, I'll do this instead of doing work, you know, housework or whatever. <clears throat> Not proud of it, just you know, that's the way it is. I gotta motivate myself to do what I'm supposed to do. Tomorrow I get to, um, I've worked out a recipe for uh, a dip, a crab dip. Can't wait to try that one out. I like to experiment when I, when I cook. I don't do, I'm the baker of the house. So, um, you know, my wife really enjoys doing the, the turkey and everything. But, um, I get to bake. So usually... The weekend after Thanksgiving is the first opportunity where we do uh, Christmas cookies. But this year we're going to wait a couple weeks to make sure that they last. <clears throat> and that's my job. I get I have recipes handed down from my mom and grandmother from way back. And well, yeah, gosh, I don't want to tell you how long ago that was. But anyway, that's uh. That's one of the things that I'll we'll be doing soon. And it's nice to be able to do that. You know, keeping traditions going that you had when you were a kid. It's not always the case. A lot of people's families and makes me appreciate what I've got. I forgot what I was just talking about. <laughs> that happens sometimes. Anyway. Uh, see, where was I headed? Oh, yeah, you know, it's... Uh, one thing that I'm very glad about. Uh, several years ago, I developed... I don't know... I, I'm pretty sure it's a a pinched nerve. I don't. I haven't. It's not been diagnosed. It was. We thought it was carpal tunnel for years. Uh, you know, I had the braces and everything, but they never seemed to help. And uh, well, anyway, as a result, uh, I had to stop fencing. I used to teach it, but when it got to the point where I would hold the weapon and couldn't hold it for more than a minute or so without you know basically losing face feeling in my hands uh, it was a bummer I, I fencing was a big part of my life huge part I mean I taught it for 20 some odd years <clears throat> and uh, when I had to stop that it was pretty sad and uh, just recently it dawned on me that you know my weekly I go to gaming every week on Saturday and so my gaming has become my fencing uh, it's something I'm, I enjoy doing um, I think I'm good at it not necessarily you know good at it in the sense of you know, like I win all my games kind of thing or um, but I learn the rules I've, I've got a solid grasp on them don't know them all obviously I'm not, <laughs> no one can know all the 40k rules <laughs> uh, but anyway uh, 
I realize, you know, I got friends there, and we have a lot of fun sparring, if you will. Yeah, that's what what the games are like. They're sparring, so it's. I realize that it's like, man, I'm very, very grateful I've got that now. It's, it's, uh, you know, and this year is I started a, a YouTube channel, which is something I don't know why, you know, where I got the idea as far as. So I've never been one interested in videography or anything like that, but I watched, uh, you know, as I as I watched YouTube videos on the various uh, <clears throat> the various people, um, I realized that I was doing some things that were a little different from other people, and I wanted to make that available to everybody else, and. Around here, we, you know, it's a small area, but we have a lot of really talented modelers. And, um, there's one guy who is a, just recently, uh, began sculpting, uh, using different putties and whatever. And he has become very, very, very good at it. And I cannot wait to showcase his work. And that's just another example of, you know, the talent we have right here. I wanted to kind of, let everybody see and kind of show it off. <clears throat> One of the cool things is that um, we have some really good painters in the area too. Uh, show that off. Now I'm not per my, I'm not a good painter necessarily, but um, I don't go for the really fine, intricate detail. And, um, I do enough detail so it doesn't look uh, sloppy. And it looks like it has some detail from the tabletop, but I don't go to the nth degree. Uh, that will change in a couple individual, like on the Wraith Knight I did. I went through a lot of work to shade that and do the highlights, do everything on those jewels and everything. Spent countless hours on it. Problem is, <laughs> what I didn't factor in was the the shading was looked fantastic. It was subtle, um, but evident when it was before I did the, the varnish. <laughs> Unfortunately, it uh, the varnish covered it up. You really can't tell that all that shading and highlighting went into it. But anyway, I digress on that. But um, you know, I've had a lot of neat experiences doing this these videos, and. Uh, had a lot of encouragement from a lot of you and I really appreciate that and I definitely want to take this opportunity to thank uh, Itik Beer, Nick Beer <clears throat> uh, it's been a tremendous encouragement uh, especially as I'm struggling to get started and learning trying to learn this stuff it's not as easy to do some of these things that I thought I, mean, I, I didn't think it was ever going to be simple simple but um, a little more involved, but once I figured it out, it it's it's coming pretty naturally. I enjoy it. So, and I kept with it. I kept I realized kept realizing that uh, because of his feedback, that um, I was putting out information that people would would benefit from, and uh, as over time, I noticed that you know some of my earlier videos people are just starting to discover those and it's really neat to see that um, I like seeing that other people are getting some ideas from what I've done <clears throat> so that's what I want to do, I want to inspire people um, not because I've got this awesome modeler but I've got a slightly different approach um, to the hobby, nothing weird or anything but um, a little more, f I mean, it's freeing sometimes. You know, a lot of. I came from a couple different model building type hobbies, and uh, the way you do things in those hobbies is a little different, actually, a lot different than what, the way you do it in miniature painting here. And because of that background, I do things a little differently. And it actually, I think, makes it a little easier for some beginners to do. So I want to give a chance to for beginners to 
benefit from what I've what I've gone through and learned. And it has been a great great uh, sounding board. Not in the sense I bounce ideas off him ahead of time, but once I put something out there, he he gives me his feedback and encourages me. I'm very 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 grateful for that. We do have a nice community, uh, gamers. You're just out there on the on YouTube, what have you. I haven't had any uh, negative experiences yet with you know trolls or what have you uh, on my channel. Hope that doesn't happen. But the one thing I'm not good at, though, I'll tell you that right out of, right out of the gate, <clears throat> is I'm not good at uh, um, oh, what do you call it? Uh, like promoting this stuff. I mean. I'm not big into social media stuff. And, uh, I'm still learning a lot there. But one of the, one of the guys at uh, gaming made me feel really, really good simply by telling uh, over he was talking to uh, another gamer who was wanting to trying to struggling to learn how to play. You know, and not not. The rules as much as the tactics or what have you. Um, that's a big part of what I do with the channel is talk about tactics and things like that. And here it was. Uh, he, he told the guy that uh, he should go to my channel and take a look at the videos I have because he's learned a lot from them. And he tries to put them into practice and he's, he said he's gotten better. And so that feels really good when you put that kind of effort in and your goal is to teach others to help them get better at their game and they actually do that feels really good so I've been very uh, very blessed to have that happen and I really hope that uh, you know the way I present it I hope a lot of people can understand some of the concepts don't want to be talking over people's head. <clears throat> so it's been a really good good ride so far. And I also realized, you know, when I did all the studio armor reviews, I saved myself a whole lot of hassle when it comes to uh, documenting stuff for insurance. <laughs> all I need to do is show them those videos, and if anything happens to the house, I can... Yeah, here's all the stuff I had that's not there anymore. <laughs> but. Okay. You know, as I said in my update video, uh, this this video right here is a it really is an experiment. Uh, because normally, I say when I paint, I'm just quiet and focused on what I'm doing. Um, I used to have a buddy who uh, you know, he moved away several years ago, unfortunately. Unfortunately for me, uh, but he he got a good position, a good job somewhere, uh, about three and a half hours away or so. But we used to get together at least every week, sometimes more often. And just build. Well, it was model railroading at the time, um, and we'd have little kind of hobby days. Get together, and we'd either be painting something or we building something, working on our projects. And it's just really need to do that. So I'm not unfamiliar with the concept of painting and talking, building and talking, but um, I'm not usually a conversationalist probably not something you can tell uh, when you watch the videos but uh, this this one as I said was a experiment uh, being that it is Thanksgiving <clears throat> I wanted to theme the content around the subject matter I want to talk about around the various things I'm thankful for and maybe encourage you guys to to spend some time thinking about what have you got in your life that's uh, you can be thankful for, even though things may not always be all that great, you know. There's always something good. You look around, it's all the things that are going on in the world that are horrible, and you feel for those people that are stuck in those situations. 
or don't even have access to them. I mean, try to picture yourself in a place where right now that's, um, you know, people are struggling to, to feed themselves. Do they have enough money to feed themselves? Well, you're not going to be wargaming, I'll guarantee that. And what about being in some part of the world that's uh, experiencing conflict, war? You're probably not going to be wargaming there either. Depends how close the, the fighting is to you, but we have a lot to be thankful for. <clears throat> Sometimes we forget that because things don't go our way. I know sometimes you can't really see what I'm doing all the time, but, you know, the, oops, I think I did, yep, I missed a spot, no, I didn't, on that one, nope, I actually didn't miss, okay, good, um, when I'm doing the painting, I mean, I'm expecting you guys are painting along on your own, so you don't necessarily have to see everything I'm doing, but I'll try to keep as much of it in frame as possible, oops, that has to be painted too, now that I did miss here, Okay, I think I got everything on that one. Okay, yep, last one. Oh, that's nice. Well, Nick, if you happen to be watching, thanks again for uh, putting this challenge out there. Again, just the motivation I needed. I have got so many models that need to be painted uh, and built. I've got four... Uh, Eldar slash Dark Eldar jet bikes to create to build from piece parts from the different uh, different group different factions. I've got twelve Reaver jet bikes I got to paint. Uh, I've got five units that are going to stand in as grotesques to paint. I've only base coated them. I need to actually paint them up. Uh, let's see. I've got well, how many? Well, I've got to finish a couple of my uh, raiders. Dark Eldar Raiders. They're painted, you know, they're 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 tabletop ready. But I wanted to put more details on and do some decaling, stuff like that. Just tons of things. I've got two Avenger Strike Fighters that are built, uh, except for the the ordnance. I haven't put any of the weapons on yet. I do that after I paint. But they're ready for painting. I haven't done that yet. Still need still need to do painting. Uh, let's see what else. Oh yeah. <laughs> I've got a how uh, if you want to chess uh, dice boxes very good for holding uh, projects that you're are in progress but I've got a uh, ethereal uh, well he isn't really an ethereal but uh, he's actually going to count as my uh, was mystery and priest for my imperial guard so and when that one's finished I'll tell you more about that but um You've got all these projects in play, and it's like, wow, what, what's next? What, what am I going to do next? And this is one I really wanted to get done. Because I really do like uh, Dragon Knights, the concept. And so I really want to make them, and I want to finish them. I actually want, I'd love to field an, an army, all six slots in a combined arms attachment, with just... The Dragon Knights, they're tiered warriors. Man, that'd be cool. And it's not about being competitive there. It's just about fielding a cool army. And, uh, you know, rule cool sometimes doesn't matter. I'm looking forward to doing that. But, you know, that'll be in the future. <clears throat> Figure every time I get... Uh, I should get... Uh, buy these kits uh, in groups of three because then I'll have 15 models, which will be uh, five units, five base units. And I can always you know, add them. Of course, so 15 will be uh, three shy, 
three models shy of three full uh, Tyranid warrior units, but it could be three units of five. So there's a. I can't wait to get more. I love these things. <coughs> It's actually pretty late here right now. Had a, like I said, I had a long day. Went uh, to the game store to help out a couple buddies. Or not so much buddies, but guys at the store who were learning the game. Got home late. Um, and now I'm at the point where I'm just trying to unwind for the day. And I can tell I'm getting a little bit on the sloppy side. Because I'm getting tired. And one thing I've learned is you don't want to push much past that. Uh, in fact, all I'm going to do is finish out the gold here on these dragons. And once that's done, uh, I'll, take, I'll take a break. We'll call it quits for the night. And we'll see how that goes. Yeah. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so as we're getting a little bit, probably a little bit close to the toward the end of this, I'll ask the question some questions now. Um, like I said, this was an experiment because it's not something I'm natural at, necessarily good at, but um. Is this something you guys would want to see more of? Let me know. Um, you won't hurt my feelings either way. Um, I usually spend my time painting with... Uh, oh, funny, painting with Jay. Uh, Jay Knight. Uh, yeah, Jay Knight. Mini Wargaming Jay. Uh, I really love watching him uh, paint as I paint. Again, it's like having my buddy back here. Uh, and still, as JC does that too. So I watch him and paint along. So there's definitely not a. Oh, I know Nick's starting to do it. I know there's. We're not. The community's not really lacking for those opportunities. Um, but even if this doesn't work out as something that'll be a permanent feature on the channel, uh, I did want to take the time out mention uh, some things that I'm grateful for uh, in honor of our Thanksgiving holiday here. I know Canada had it in October. We have it in November. I don't know if uh, other parts of the world have it at all. So, um, <clears throat> so let me know what you guys think about uh, you know, if, should I do more of these? This is something that you, you are going to spend your time watching while you guys do your painting or no? Just uh let me know. I'd, I'm definitely not going to do it on a weekly basis because uh, I don't always get a chance to sit down for an hour straight and just paint. Uh, a lot of times the way I do my modeling, I'll just be honest, is I go with what I feel I'm in the mood for because I, right or wrong, uh, I feel that I get a better result because I'm working on what I want to work on and uh, the drudgery sometimes that you can find. I'm sure you guys have been in a spot where you've, oh, I gotta paint, finish painting this, or oh man, I gotta finish building that. You just don't really have that drive that you used to have for that. And sometimes you, uh, you don't get the quality out of it, the project. Like if you had just stayed there, and, you know, actually wanted to do it and get it done. So most of the time, um, I'm actually got two or three projects. I'm kind of working on it at the same time. I'll, I'll let the paint dry on one thing while I go work on something else. Uh, or if I'm building something, same thing, letting the glues dry. It's one of the things that I'm very impatient about is you know glue drying. So what I want to do is just, just let <laughs> make it dry faster, which of course I can't do. But uh, that's what I want to have happen. You know, a lot of times I've messed up a model because I just didn't wait. So I don't always, I don't very often spend a full hour straight working on a, 
paint project. But if you guys think it's it's enjoyable and you want me to do it, um, yeah, I'll, I'll do it. I'll I'll make time. I'll get better at it. It's one of those things. Uh, I'm willing to do it. And uh, when I do want it, when I dive into something, I'm going to do the best I can, and I'm going to get better at whatever I do, whether it's painting or videos or my battle reports or just actually playing the game better. So. Uh, if you want these, I'll work to get them, make them better each time. And I'll, in the process, I'll learn to be more conversational. Well, conversational may not be quite the word. More monologue-ish, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I can tell that I'm kind of winding down. It's okay, this is a large service. This is only the first coat anyway with like, the gold, so. I'm going to let this one dry before I put the next one on. And I did mess up a couple parts of the green, so i got to fix those. So there's still plenty to do. Uh, I want to mention one thing. I was going to... I was trying to record all the Escalation cam, uh, games in the Escalation League we got going at the shop. And uh, I just got paired with somebody this uh, last week. Uh, we haven't played our game yet. But I have a feeling that um, this army isn't painted. I really would rather or not paint it all the way up. So I'd really rather only have battle reports that have everything painted on them. Uh, so I don't know that the, my next escalation battle will actually get paint, um, will actually get recorded. I don't quite know. Um, I guess it really, I guess it might be okay. It's, all my models have to be painted. I, I definitely want to do that, but maybe my opponents don't have to be model painted. We'll see. But I also want to make sure the dynamics of, as, as players, that we play well together. We'll see. All right. So it's been about a half hour. Oh no, about 45 minutes, I guess. All right, so yeah, let's just call it there. I've got all the my uh, golds done. First coat. I don't think I've don't think I've missed some space spots. But I did notice uh, there's one area I do want to improve on in that a uh, couple parts of the model. Yeah, so uh, <clears throat> so we'll just kind of leave it with that. And uh, I wish you all a happy Thanksgiving. And this will be published on Thanksgiving, so uh, spend time with your family. Even if, even if you don't celebrate Thanksgiving as you know normally, just go ahead and you know get with your family. Let them know you're glad you're, you've got them in your life. Think to yourself about what you've got that's going right, that that you have that you're grateful for. And with that, hopefully you you'll start on a good foot in the holiday season and we'll see you in the next video whatever one whichever one it happens to be okay good night all and i'll see you later bye bye